Welcome to our Walmart oasis. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. Oh, so fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. <laughs> Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. Where's the camera? Last week in Hotel Prius, Camper and I finished up our adventures in Washington, witnessing a salmon run. Then made our way into Oregon. Here we met up with my sister Kayla for the weekend. Got in some great hikes and some quality family and outdoor time. It was an absolute blast. <laughs> and we left off ready to head south to go surprise my best friend Lauren. Holy crap, you guys. Okay, so last night around the fire, I was telling Kayla, okay, Lauren's in fourth, but like, you don't understand. She's gonna be in first by the time this race is over. And guess who's in first place? <laughs> Did I not say that? She, she's like, she's got a strong mental game. She's got it. Lauren, I'm coming your way. So Kayla and I said our goodbyes and I hit the road. All right, guys, so we are on our way to go surprise Lauren. You guys might remember her from New Mexico and Washington and Idaho videos. Uh, we've lived all over the US together. She lives in her van and she is quite possibly the best gravel biker in the United States. She's incredible. So this is a pretty grueling race. It's 350 miles and approximately 28,000 feet in elevation gain throughout. I received a few reports that I snuck my way into first place overnight. I did this by riding really, 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 really slow all night and taking a million micro naps. So the women behind me are very fast, so we'll see if I can keep this up. All I can do is keep pedaling and keep eating my pizza. <laughs> Game on. She had been going at it for about 35 hours at this point. <laughs> so in efforts to make sure we were there at the finish line, we hustled on down to Bend, Oregon. All right, guys, so we got here early, so we decided why not be clean? If you guys want to know all the methods that I shower, I do have a video on that. But uh, it's pretty horrific. One of the first videos I ever edited in my life, which is actually kind of fun in itself. I'll link that over there. Uh, but one of the methods is RV parks and campgrounds. So basically, I'll call around, see who has showers and how much they cost. Uh, for instance, today it cost $5. All right, and now we're just gonna wait for Lauren. Starting with our first meal of the day. We're making some good stuff. Okay, so all your friends are doing a Thanksgiving potluck. What do I always bring? I always bring salad. Why well, I have a feeling I just got uninvited to Thanksgiving. Mm. So this is really just what I eat almost every day, a salad, because it's easy. It's easy to store. There's so many ingredients you can put in, so it doesn't really get boring unless you make it boring. That's why I love salads, but I also am like a super healthy person. When you eat clean, your body just starts to crave clean foods. This is literally my favorite food. <laughs> you know what else is going on my salad today? A bagel. Could it have been a sandwich? Yeah. What is it? No. It's still healthy because it's a salad. Let me tell you, you could take some pizza. And you'll put it in a salad. <laughs> yeah, where's your Lauren job? Don't worry, guys. I'm enrolling her in etiquette classes. This is where I'm cracking. Map mile 242. I'm not feeling good. My knees hurt more than they've ever hurt. I can't stand on my pedals. I have more than 100 miles left. So we continually kept checking on her and sending her love and support. You guys will not believe what just happened. I'm eating a salad and I get a, I think my wife knows you. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my God, she used to take my spin class. So now, while we wait for Lauren, we have friends. So they are 10 months living on the road out of this Airstream and they're homeschooling their three kids. Uh, it's super inspirational and just goes to show you can literally do anything and explore in any circumstance. And so we're really, really lucky. We're gonna be hanging out with them and their adorable dog. While we stayed up to date on Lauren's status, we hung out in the famous Airstream. Go Lauren! 
Camper made a new best friend. Who wants to lick it and make it better? You love that belly switch. We played outside. Camper even learned how to skateboard. <laughs> we got a skateboarder. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> and we just had a ton of fun together. Oh, 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 puppy. Oh, What's going on, Camper? Oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. Oh, shake it off. High five, everybody. Yeah. I'm tired. You guys are whoa, strong. I like that. We made s'mores, snuggled around the campfire, and then headed to bed. Okay, guys, we're gonna try to get a little bit of sleep. And set the alarm for two hours from now to find Lauren. They keep waking up every hour to check her status. Looks like she's having a hard time out there. It's 7 a.m. and Lauren is 15 miles away. Apparently the track got really, really hard last night and extended the time. So nuts. So we said goodbye to our friends and drove to the finish line. The road was closed. So we are hiking up to the top with water, ibuprofen, all the good stuff. She's gonna be done in four miles. We have a one mile hike to get to the end. I <sighs> gotta beat her. Mission accomplished. We're waiting for her. Right, Camp? Patiently waiting. Okay, maybe someone's impatiently waiting. And shortly after, here she came around the corner. It's Lauren! Yeah! You're amazing! Come on, Lauren. You're crushing it! You're right there! <laughs> Lauren, you won! Yay! Yeah. I'm so proud of you. You, you think you would be here? Oh my god. She came in first with a 30 mile lead for the girls and third overall beating most of the men. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Shut up. This superhuman even rode right back down. She is the strongest person I know mentally and physically. I hold the key to the protection of that brain. What a gal. As all superheroes, they need to relax and refuel. So some friends made burritos. And then we headed to camp. Lauren's taking a nap and we're so lucky. So we have a bunch of friends staying with us and they are cooking dinner. I'm so excited. Hi friends. Hello. How are we feeling? Great now that we're eating. Right Daph? Good night everybody. Holy sh you guys, it's so cold that it froze over inside the car. I just turned on the defroster. We're getting there. <laughs> this is on the inside, you guys. Look. Gosh, these blankets are amazing. We were so toasty last night, but apparently not because, yeah, that's ice. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. 21 degrees. First time in two years. I made the rookie mistake of only having one of the windows cracked and not both. The condensation won this time. I believe there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad preparation. I've survived many snows in this car with just a zero degree sleeping bag. Oh my gosh, it snowed so much last night. Look at that. <laughs> or in last night's case, my down quilt, Mexican blanket, and Sherpa. You'll just need some good clothing, good ventilation to avoid the condensation, and avoid that wet cold, and you'll be just fine. Sometimes I'll set up an electric heating blanket into my power station for camper. I have a very important announcement for all of you campers. Bury your poop. Okay, here's the thing, go like this. The hole must be deeper than this. 10 inch hole. And if you can't wait, make a hole, put it in the hole. I don't know what to tell you. And if you don't, I hope you stumble across a bunch of poop and you step on it. All right guys, we are headed into town super early. Everyone's still sleeping uh, to get some coffee. 
already on that, of course. And we went to the dog park. We have 18.8 fenced in acres with paths. Don't forget to clean up after yourself. We hiked for miles around the paths. Happy puppy equals happy mom. Made friends and got all of our energy out. Well, Camper did. This is great, huh? We had a blast. After that, I got my own workout in. Camper napped. Somebody tired from the dog park. And we hit the store to get some surprise goodies for our friends. We got ourselves one. Lauren, here we come. Oh God. I think there's a reason I never eat stuff like that. Whew, I'm having like the sugar sweats. I had the whole pastry. Oh, that was a lot different than my usual salad. I don't recommend that. Not after, during the drink. Hey there, sleeping beauty. My dad. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. Congrats. Thank you. How you doing? I am surviving, not thriving. <laughs> <laughs> we hung out for a few hours and then said our goodbyes until next time. So I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay. We also dropped off some goodies to the Airstream family as it was Mac's birthday and then headed south. Crater Lake, here we come. My God, look how he's sitting. I can't handle it. Hey, are you a human? Once we arrived, we got right to hiking. Do you love the snow? <laughs> Crater Lake is the deepest lake in the United States. Best known for its vibrant blue color and purity. According to the National Park Service, it is the cleanest and clearest body of water in the world. This is beautiful. As it is solely fed by rain and snow. So this is pretty cool to see the contrast of Crater Lake between the winter and the summer. Last time I was here, it was summer. Uh, just such an amazing place. Throw it on your road trip list. Just be careful if it is the winter, there's a lot of ice. So this is really fun. While I'm here, I get a text message and I have a few friends that are going climbing at Smith Rock tomorrow. We s we're going south, but it's supposed to be really pretty out, so I think we're gonna turn around and go back to Bend. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. What do you think? Oh yeah, climbing's cool. So we headed back north, but as you can see, we were getting pretty tired, so we later had to rest at a Walmart on the way. Good night, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Walmart. I love it here. We're gonna go climbing after we prep the car. On the way, we grabbed our coffee, had a bite to eat, got camper some fancier snacks. Is this yours? Found a smooth path to go rollerblading. Oh my gosh, these paths are silky smooth. Silky smooth. And we made it to our destination with tons of daylight to spare. That's where we're hiking to. That's where we're climbing all these walls. There we go. On the way, we of course had to take our routine baby carry photo. Finally making it to our friends. So I geared up and got to climbing. Everyone starts to go back. Oh, felt good. I got further. High five. Yeah. Smith Rock is an outdoor enthusiast paradise with miles of hiking and biking routes. Gang's all here. But it's especially for climbers. It is said that this is the birthplace of modern American sport climbing. <laughs> Got our biggest cheerleader right here. Three. It felt so awesome tackling walls beyond my perceived skill level. That was my first 5'8". Yeah. Oh, that was, that's more than 5'8". Yeah. That was hard. That was cool. What an amazing day. 
That's the biggest stick ever. I got a bigger stick than all these guys. Crushed it. Woo -hoo. All right, going back. But first, some more baby carry photos and views of the sunset. One, two, three, butt grab. Oh yeah. We ended the day with dinner, hangouts, and a good night's rest. Good morning, camper. You ready? Oh my God, look at that. Good morning. Once we woke up, we said our goodbyes and continued on our adventure. If you'd like to help out Camper and I, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad-free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all.